am Vikram Pratap Singh. I am speaking from uh, the Punjab circle of telecom uh, currently, and uh, this is uh, uh, basically I have bought this uh, 4G Wi-Fi uh, provided by uh, the service provider of uh, India that is Bharti Airtel Limited. So this uh, this box is of that 4G device. So uh, apart from this, uh, this uh, device is basically a single mod. Uh, a Wi-Fi device which offers various features technology and services so uh, apart from this uh, Wi-Fi device uh, Airtel also offers one modem uh, that is basically can be directly connected with the computer and can be used uh, it is very much uh, similar to uh, this uh, 3G already available 3G modems so and apart from this, uh, they also offer uh, one more uh, Wi-Fi that is a dual uh, mod Wi-Fi. And basically, this uh, present Wi-Fi can be used only for the 4G networks. The places where the 4G network is available, you can very much uh, you can use this uh, device. Uh, and if the network 4G network is not available, you will immediately switch. You uh, device will immediately switch back to 128 kbps speed. That is basically normal 2G or uh, you can set 2G data speed or edge speed. So uh, and apart from this, if you have the dual mod uh, uh, Wi-Fi, that will uh, enable you to connect with the 4G network if available. If not available, if there is 3G network available, then you can switch uh, with the switch to 3G network. So that that's why it is called dual mod. So now uh, you can have a look. This is the in, uh, initial look of this uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, that is made on the box of this uh, Airtel uh, uh, provided uh, uh, Wi-Fi. So they, they, they uh, have a punchline called electrifying 4G, the fastest wireless internet ever. So they have the service, uh, they have the logo of Bharti Airtel Limited here, you can see it. And apart from that, they also have some customer care numbers. So uh, for any technical assistance, they can be contacted. So, so it, it, must be, it must be noted that these numbers, ST record belongs to Chandigarh. So uh, you might need to uh, aid your uh, city std code or maybe you have to dial a global uh, or toll free number which uh, i will show you uh, in within the, this process so let's have a look uh, what what all are the offerings they have well, uh, they say the live video streaming with the zero buffering the super fast download uh, up to five times faster speeds and play hd games online stream video calling bridge distances with the ease so let us see this device will work only on the airtel 4g networks 4g refers to the 4g lte services so uh, you might be aware aware that lte is nothing but a long term evolution uh, like 2g 3g uh, after that uh, the evol uh, after that there uh, came 4g and that have basically long term evolution as a technology and network so um, you have a look um, let's have a look on device uh, so you can see uh, there is a global calling number uh, uh, sorry rather uh, i should say this is a number uh, which is a toll free number for india or you can send sms to 53636 or call us at 18001030405 that is a toll free number or you can visit it online at airtel.in slash 4g so let's have a look on the uh, manufacturer of this device so this device is made by the Huawei. Huawei Telecom is a company of China. So uh, uh, this uh, device has been imported from the vendor called Airtel which provides its services in the uh, Indian uh, subcontinent. So this device, uh, Huawei uh, device uh, is basically LTCP E5172 uh, device. So LT is uh, as you know long term evolution and CPE, CPE points to customer premises equipment and uh, the, this uh, E5172 is nothing but a number okay so that uh, that is basically device device version number kind of thing you can say so apart from that this is um, a 4G Wi-Fi router so 
basically let's have a look uh, on the technology it supports so it says key features supports LTE TDD LTE CAT4 so point to be noted here is uh, this uh, LTE is long term emulation and that runs either on TDD or on FDD D. so uh, TDD is nothing but that is a time division duplexing so here you take a channel a one frequency channel and uh, on that based on time slot you can receive and send the data uh, and this uh, in case of uh, uh, FDD that is frequency division multiplexing you have, uh, to make a duplex connection you need uh, two uh, available frequency channels so that is uh, basically uh, the, the currently that Airtel or uh, uh, rather Huawei device support that LTE TDE. So the and this uh, LTE CAT4 is nothing but uh, this is uh, basically uh, uh, pointers uh, for the fastest speed. So for the CAT4 that means that has a uh, uh, that aggregates to 10 megahertz carriers and uh, attains a peak rate of 150 mbps so there are uh, already some cat 5 and cat 6 are, uh, technologies are already there so they uh, do have uh, much better speed than this much better peak speed than this i should say so uh, let's have a look on the second uh, second feature that is uh, you can say support this uh, we we have this this one uh, you can say support lt2 crash 2 memo so that is basically nothing but uh, antenna technology uh, which is uh, present on device to uh, send and receive the signal so uh, the further uh, clarification on this uh, the there is a 4 crash 2 technologies also pro present nowadays with the mobile and addiction uh, devices but not in India so after that it says uh, the next feature is next feature it says uh, that supports Wi-Fi 802 11.11 .11 BGN up to 32 user can be connected simultaneously so 802.11 is a uh, basically uh, IEEE standard for this wireless communication so this uh, B, G and N are uh, basically B was the technology at very beginning when this these devices or IEEE standard came and apart uh, then uh, this the G uh, version has been derived and uh, from this G version and B version uh, the hybrid of this has been derived as a uh, N version so this has various pros and cons depending on the frequency they use basically uh, that uh, 802.11 b uses a uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, memory uh, unregulated uh, uh, bandwidth for signaling actually so the problem here is uh, so that uh, uh, that uh, kind of signaling is also basically that kind of frequency can also be generated uh, through uh, some uh, home appliances like microwave and uh, um, cell uh, that uh, uh, cordless cell phones that uh, may cause some overlapping or interference but uh, if they are uh, far away from each other so uh, there is less possibility of the overlapping but yes uh, the point uh, should be noted here is um, if uh, 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 this this uh, this uh, aggregating this uh, 2.5 gigahertz frequency is a very easy task so it, it takes uh, less cost so in, so apart from that 32 user can be connected simultaneously so we'll next move to next feature so this supports vpn pass through sorry uh, this supports a previous uh, pass through convenient for the small enterprises to set up the private network so VPN can be used here. So use a smartphone tablet to download Huawei mobile Wi-Fi app to manage uh, the CPE more conveniently. 
so this also has one fe and one port to support data service and voice service so here one fe is nothing but a, uh, they are talking about the fast ethernet available that is offers 100 mbps speed so that is a basically land technology uh, ethernet so they also given one twisted pair cable uh, to use with the ethernet this there is a rj45 connector as well you can see this rj45 connector so apart from that they say one port is also port support is also there so port support means uh, that is related to telecom and uh, uh, telephony so uh, you can see on the original device this is the basically whoever device so uh, this device has uh, uh, you can say on the back side there is a one LAN uh, there is a power cable on off switch 0 and 1 power cable connection uh, point female uh, uh, juncture and uh, on top of that there is a line so line is basically nothing but pointing to fast ethernet as, as, as written on the box and this telephone line is nothing but a part that supports a tele uh, phone connection telephone connection over that and this this you can see this is a uh, and, uh, again antenna this is the place to antenna if needed so uh, they uh, haven't provided any antenna so but uh, if you open this uh, this slot this is basically uh, you have to connect uh, um, one meta that let's let's open that so so let let give me one one meta. Uh, now I am able to open this and uh, you can see so this this uh, is the place where you, you can connect a sim so this this is a sim slot and uh, apart from that there is a battery slot as well you can see this is a battery slot so but uh, that battery is not provided with this device so you have to purchase uh, some uh, somewhere from outside so let's have a look on the sim they have provided so you can see this uh, sim uh, 4g lte sim that is a postpaid sim so and apart from that they have a feature uh, that 128 kbps memory sim is there that sim is basically uh, supports lte over tdd so the point to make here is this sim cannot be used on the available uh, for the phones which supports TDD so um, uh, the point to make here is that the sim might um, uh, sim cannot be used in all 4G phones so which are using FDD as a technology so uh, they also have written one more thing this is a 2G 3G compatible sim so okay so that means they have backward compatibility as well so for assistance they have given one more uh, the same number so this is all about uh, the device so uh, let, let's uh, summarize that so they have one Wi-Fi one Ethernet cable one uh, power cable uh, that is power cable basically uh, power adapter I should say that has model number uh, and this is uh, input is 100 to 240 volts uh, with a 50 uh, to 60 gigahertz uh, sorry hertz frequency and uh, supports of 0.5 ampere so output is 12 volt and 1 ampere so uh, that uh, you can see that these all are the made of china made in china so because in the china is a manufacturer hub you know, for these kind of devices so the indian company service provider like in uh, airtel vodafone reliance all the devices modems they import from the china and mostly from shenzhen uh, city of the china so i hope uh, you had a uh, you got a uh, uh, outlook or overview of this uh, 4g uh, wi-fi uh, if if uh, uh, basically uh, that that that's it from my end Thank you very much for uh, having a look on this video. Thank you very much. Bye.